Into the Roadshow kitchen we go. Them. Nick just comments, oh, we're really behind <laughs> schedule. Yes, we moved it's, to the first cooking. It's 9.15. <laughs> Nothing gets Let's by. Let's go here. Yes. <laughs> Avenue ends the place. Nick Raybar is the man, and we told you about this smashing new white bomber yes. jacket. Yes, yes, yes. Not too shabby, right? I need to go shopping with you. I, well, I just, it's a, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't accidentally spill something. Yeah, well, no. Well, that's, I was worried about it, drinking my coffee this morning. <laughs> right. But I survived, and I, I think I'm going to be unscathed here making these uh, arayas this morning. Spicy yeah. beef arayas with yes. feta and dill yogurt. That's Take us right. through the ingredients. So, I think I know. I arayas, just yes, that's right. No, that's pretty much it. But arayas are like a stuffed pita. So I'm going to take the pita, cut it in half, and stuff it from the side okay. with a meat, with a raw meat mixture. I have ground beef, commonly used uh, ground beef, but also lamb, turkey, chicken. You can kind of make it out of anything. Uh, raw onion and garlic. I have a lot of dry spices. The spice, when we say spicy, is going to come from cayenne pepper and Aleppo pepper. Love it. If you don't have Aleppo pepper, crushed red pepper works. If you want to add some chopped pepperoncinis or jalapenos, that's just fine too. Some smoked paprika, some coriander, some cumin, salt, pepper, uh, a little chopped parsley. And then I'm gonna whip together this like little dill yogurt sauce, which goes great with this. I'm telling you, it smells great already. Yes, yeah. Right, well, what's great about this is that it's really like oddly simple. Yeah. And uh, uh, it's a big hit, uh, you know, big fan favorite. And why that is, is because once you stuff the pita with the raw meat, you have to cook both the pita and the meat. Okay. The meat has to be cooked through inside the pita pocket. Otherwise, you know, it's well, uh, you know we can't go. You don't want anything, any of these things to be on the raw side. This the, is a cook through thing. And the pita pocket prevents dripping. Yes, yes, yes. Holds it, it all in there. And that's what makes it so clean and easy. And it's just, uh, it's a, it's a smash, a smash hit. It's You're certainly gonna love it. just like you in this yes. uh, jacket yes, right yes, here. Yes, yes, I like this. You jacket. said it's oddly yeah. simple. Yes, just, yes, just like me. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that too, but of course. <laughs> but you knew what's coming. We so. love when you're here. I love being here. I can't not wait to make these. This is gonna be terrific. Yeah. We love uh, how it looks and smells yeah. already. You don't want to miss Nick preparing this throughout the morning. Back to you. Back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen, Chef. Nick Raybar is here from Avenue Wind. Spicy Arias, is that how you? Arias. Arias, yeah. Arias. 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 Uh, with feta yes. and dill yogurt is on the menu. Yes. Everybody who's been coming in here is looking at that, and they're like, oh, my God. Yeah. That looks so delicious. Nick, this has got like a Middle Eastern vibe That's to it. That's exactly what right? it is. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's a it's really great take and uh, popular right. these days. It's not an unknown thing. Arias are... Are uh, kind of not everywhere, but okay. you can you can find them. And uh, so, what did you put inside of that? Well, that's that's the whole ball game right there. Okay. Is I use beef. Now I'm gonna pull these off. Okay, I use beef, and I've been cooking them on both sides and also the flat side uh, for probably 15 minutes. Right. So let's get them off so they rest for just a minute. And you can see that right there how that well it's so caramelized. Good. Now it has pulled away a little bit. So here's the here. Let me tell you. I use beef. And a lamb is very common. Yeah. Turkey, yep. chicken, whatever you want to put in there, you certainly can. Um, and I mixed it with onion and garlic. Okay. And then a bunch of dry spices. So uh, cumin, yep. coriander, allspice, smoked paprika, a little cayenne and Aleppo for uh, you know just a, a hint of spice. Right. Um, I put in uh, parsley and uh, stuffed them into the pita. And okay. you can see how the pita is stuffed here. You cut it in half. You gently open it to try not to tear it, and then you stuff it and kind of squish it down. Okay. And uh, if you do it right, it's going to stay inside the pita. And uh, mine have pulled away a little bit from the edge because the meat has shrunk as we cooked it. Right. Um, but don't be afraid to really squish it. Okay. Almost like panini yep. kind of thin. Yep. And uh, now, as they're resting, uh, all you got to do is kind of cut them in half, and that's going to be what we're serving here today so give it a cut you know so my mother would make something like you know like yes. this but and sometimes use like lamb and i'm not a huge lamb. well you know lamb you is know, very common i know lamb i know is, it is lamb is even very like common. middle eastern dishes lamb is so <coughs> common so common with that super common and i was super never common. i was never a fan of it i i mean it tasted okay yes um i mean it would be mixed a lot of times with ground beef and yes. stuff to kind of like take that but sometimes i just that just know when it was in there was like that well, that's why I did beef. It's certainly more. Yeah. It's certainly more mainstream. It is. You know. Yeah. And uh, you know, when you're cooking with, you know, obviously if you're cooking with uh, turkey or chicken, you're gonna want it cooked all the way through. Right. If you're cooking these and they're looking like these are like a little on the medium side, that's See, pretty. That looks good. That's to pretty me. good. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'm not sure I would go like hyper rare here, but I think that that nice medium cut is perfect. So 
Uh, you know, and what's cool about this, what I really love, see all that. I mean, you can see out. it. I mean, it's, it's not dried out at all. I mean, no. as, you're, as you're doing that, it's. No, no, no. It's not dried out at all. That and looks awesome. And it is cooked through. Yeah. And what's great about it is, like you said, they're super moist. So good. And so flavorful. And I'm just going to go over there with those. And uh, really basic, uh, really basic. So a fun, a fun take on something that, you know, we'll cook that one just for half okay. a second. A fun take on, you know, a burger or something that's like, we do it all the time at home. You want to switch like, it up a little bit. How about something a little bit different? Right, right. Now with these, uh, you know, I told you we've got this little cucumber dill sauce there. I'm going to put some feta cheese on top, break that up, let it get a little creamy there. You can scoop it on the great. side if you want to put the cheese right inside. By all means, you certainly can. And uh, I mean, this is just great stuff here. A little chopped parsley and then some more Aleppo on top. And I mean, how do you beat that well? So then what did you put in the, uh, the, the, the yogurt that you have there? Great question. So the yogurt, you know, yogurt is very Middle Eastern. Right. And it's oftentimes like the cooling agent to something like the spicy beef here. Right. So I just put yogurt, I put okay. dill, okay. cucumber, lemon juice. Yeah. Really, really simple flavors. Tiny bit of honey, pinch mm -hmm. of salt. Yogurt itself is just such a great ingredient. Yeah, it is. And it's and it's lighter for you. And it really I mean, does. That looks so good. Check those out. That looks great. Check those out. I mean, I want to see those. I'm going to let's watch Hang TV on, here. Hang on. I love watching TV. I love watching the road we're show. We're going to slow zoom yes, in on that. Look at that. See, that looks so good. Like you were I saying, know. people have had, you know, you're making hamburgers all the time, making something like that. Yeah. You want to switch it up. You want to switch it up all the time. And that looks absolutely fantastic. And the beauty is, you know, like I said, you make it just as you would like a meatloaf or something where you're right. kind of mixing everything together. Yep. You stuff it in there raw and then you just sear it to desired that temperature. That looks awesome. Yeah. All right, so we, we, do, we got a little time We got yeah. a little time left. Talk about yes. the restaurants that you have going okay. on. And oh, I'm really glad you said something oh, about yeah. the restaurants oh. because we don't, always, we don't always get to the restaurant. Well, that he's happy. But I want to say that next week is uh, is East Providence Restaurant Week. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I don't know how well you know known that is. I mean, EP has done a spectacular job getting right. it every everywhere. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, we're not, we've never participated in a restaurant week before. It's our first time. We love East Providence. We love uh, the people that have put this together. Right. Uh, you know, go out and support the restaurants that, you know, have fallen a little bit sure. behind with all the, the traffic and the chaos right. that happened over the last right, few right. months. This is a great way to be reminded that the restaurants are open and uh, not just Avenue N and, and the Pantry and Honeybird, but all the great restaurants. East Providence is a great there's Dining a ton of great scene. restaurants yeah. in there. There's a bunch of great diners, too, yeah. in East Providence they, as well. That's too. right. Yeah. EP's got a cool scene going on. So get out and support. I know that we're doing uh, something that we've never done before. Okay. And this is at Honeybird. We're going to do half-price buckets. Wow. Yeah. So from 4 to 6, uh, you know, Monday through Friday of next week, yes. half-price buckets. Right. Okay, so if you haven't been to Honeybird, this is a great opportunity. Buckets are massive, all right? And they cost nothing now. Can't wait. Right? Yeah, so half-price buckets. And then uh, we're doing great gift card discounts. And, uh, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, really good stuff. I hope your face is yeah. on the side of the bucket like the Colonel's is. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. No, no, we want to encourage I'm diners. I'm just saying. We want to encourage. We'll put Brendan's face if on. If you want to for this, you can head on over to our website. That's roadshow.com. Finger looking good. Uh-huh. That's what they said.